What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Hurricane, and today EA Sports released some new information about Ultimate Team in Madden NFL 25, and I'm here to talk about it with you guys and give you my thoughts, but it looks like this year they're focusing a lot on Team Chemistry, and I will link the article below in the description, but they're talking a lot about Team Chemistry, and they're going to have four offensive and four defensive schemes that you can kind of build your team around, and those schemes are, for offense, it's short pass, long pass, ground and pound, and speed run. And for defense, it's zone defense, man defense, pass rushing, or run stuffing. And I like the idea of having these schemes and having them actually mean something in the game. Because I want players to be rewarded in the game for actually building a team and not just assembling players of high rating. When I have built my last Madden 25 lineup, which was a month or two ago... I focused on kind of being a short pass, run after the catch offense, and a zone specialized defense. And if I did this in Madden 25, it looks like I would be rewarded for this and I would get some bonuses in certain statistical areas. And they had an example in this article saying that like if you were really focused on building up your team chemistry and you were a speed run offense, then you'd get boost to elusiveness and your run blocking. And I like this idea a lot. And the other thing they're hyping up are the head-to-head -head seasons mode, which to me is a very cool concept. You play like a 10-game regular season, and then you have an 8-team playoff. I'm not sure exactly how it's all structured, but I like that they're doing something to not just make it so it's all head-to-head -head games and have some sort of like a tournament or a seasons mode like this. And it should be a welcome addition by the community and Ultimate Team if they do it correctly. And I've noticed they haven't talked about anything concerning draft duels. So I'm not sure if that's scrapped or if it's just on the back burner for now, if it's still in development. But for now, we do know that chemistry is going to be a big deal. And we have this head-to-head -head seasons mode. And solo challenges will return, the auction block, all that good stuff. But there's still more information that we need and that I'm specifically looking for. And if you know me, the thing I'm looking for is how the players will be balanced and what they're going to do with the special edition cards and the legends because I haven't brought a ton of Madden Ultimate Team to my channel on Madden 13. Why? Because there's too many cards out there that are all 99 overall with these high ratings and I personally am not a fan of playing with those cards. If you want to use those, go right ahead, but I would rather that the game have better balance and not be about these Ultimate players. In my opinion, the boosted cards or the special edition cards for holidays or whatever occasion it is should just be a slightly better version of the regular player. And I'm not a fan of seeing guys like defensive linemen with speed in the 90s or like a Larry Fitzgerald card or like a possession receiver with like 99 speed. You completely change the identity of these players. And that's why I'd rather play my connected careers or just play head-to-head -head online games with the actual players and not these superheroes in uniform. But not everybody has the same thoughts as me. I want to see what they do. From this screen here, I see that Legends are indeed returning, which is not a surprise at all. They have a 97 Barry Sanders and a 99 overall Dan Deerdorf. But this is a very small sample size, and we have to wait and see what they do during the actual season and while the game is already out, because there's a, a ton of additions of each legend, it seems, in the game. And in the article, they mention that special promotions will be happening with rare players with significant stat boosts. And if they're as significant and how they were in Madden 13, then I probably won't be playing much Madden 25 Ultimate Team. I'll probably play some NCAA Ultimate Team, or if I don't like that one either, I'll be playing Diamond Dynasty on MLB The Show, I guess. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this little information for Madden 25 Ultimate Team and what you would like to see them talk about or maybe change from Madden 13 a little bit. But obviously you know what I think if you've been following my channel. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. I do a lot of football content. I'm excited for NCAA 14 and Madden 25. And thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please do hit that like button. I'll see you guys later with UTSA Dynasty later today. And have a great day, everybody.